What's up you guys? It's Levi here. Today I'm going to be doing a continuation of my series of how to set up and use a VPN and today I'll be specifically focusing on how to set up and use a VPN on Android devices. I'll be showing you guys a step-by-step -step guide from start to finish so setting up the VPN and using that VPN on Android devices. I'll be specifically talking Talking about setting up ExpressVPN. For those of you that don't know what a VPN stands for, it stands for Virtual Private Network. I have a video out there on everything you guys need to know about VPNs. I'll post that link down below in the description so you guys can check that out if you want to learn more about VPNs, why you need one, what it is, etc. I've also done several videos already on how to set up and use a VPN on various devices. I have one out on Windows devices, I have one out on Macs, and in the very, very near future, I'll be recording one on how to use it on iOS devices, so iPhones and iPads. I know I'm gonna get a big boo from you guys because this is an Android video and most Android users hate iOS devices, so please don't smash that dislike button. I own an Android. I just have to do a video for everybody out there because I want everyone to be protected. <laughs> so make sure if you like this video that you're smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm as it helps this channel get promoted on YouTube so more people can learn from the content on this channel and help protect themselves from the cybersecurity threats in the world. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into the tutorial for you guys. All right, welcome to the tutorial, everyone. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go and open up the Google Play Store. So go ahead and open that up, and you're gonna wanna do a search for ExpressVPN. All right, and then make sure that you see an icon that looks like this and all the information matches this, and then tap that Install button. Wait for it to download and install, and then tap that Open button. All right, and you're gonna have two different options here. You have the start free trial option if you have never used ExpressVPN in the past. If you have, you have the sign in option. I'm gonna explain both of these options, but for those of you that have used ExpressVPN in the past, I'm gonna come back to you later in this video, so stay tuned. All right, so you get a seven day free trial if you've never used ExpressVPN before, so click on start free trial. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to type in your email address and then click that start free trial button. It's gonna create the account and then you're gonna have the option whether you wanna help improve ExpressVPN. I'm just gonna hit no in this case. It's up to you what you guys wanna do. And then it's gonna ask you for permission to set up your VPN. So let's go ahead and tap okay and you get that permission request here. Um, you can see it says ExpressVPN wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor traffic. Only accept if you trust the source. Um, this little lock icon appears at the top of your screen when the VPN is active. So obviously we trust the source, so we're gonna click OK. And that's going to enable ExpressVPN to be able to act as a VPN on your Android device. All right, so now we're in the meat and potatoes of ExpressVPN. This is what controls the VPN functionality on your Android device. All right, so you can see here, uh, it comes up with a default location for you down here. Um, so when you're browsing applications on your device or when you're browsing websites on your device, uh, this is the location that will be when you tap that connect button. But we're gonna go ahead and change that because I don't, I really don't want to be in Dallas right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. So to change your location, you can go and hit the three dots over here, and they have recommended locations down here. I usually just tap the All Locations button. As you can see, you can pick from multiple different continents around the world. I'm gonna start out with the Americas, so we'll click that and expand the drop down. Um, it's got tons of different countries here but we'll stay within the United States for right now. And I'll just go ahead and select Chicago. Once I tap Chicago, it's gonna go ahead and connect. And 
it says it's connected now and you can see up here that it's got this lock icon which means that you're connected to the VPN on your device. So now anytime I visit a website or I'm using an app on my Android device, it's going to show the sites that I visit that I am located in Chicago. Um, there's a way to prove this by going into the home screen and opening up Chrome. So let's go ahead and do that. And just type in what's my IP address in Google Chrome. Um, we'll go to the first result, which is mostmyipaddress.com. And you can see the IP address here. And if you go down here, the location is Lake Zurich in Illinois, which if you look at the map here, it's a suburb of Chicago, apparently. So, yeah, we're, we are located in Chicago right now when we're browsing the web. All right, so let's say that we want to change our locations now. So you can go back to the home screen, go back to ExpressVPN inside of here. You can go down here, back to the three dots down here, and change your location again. So we'll go back to all locations. Let's say I want to be located in Germany now. All right, so we'll go down to Europe. We'll select Germany. And this little icon, carrot icon over here. You got three different options inside of here. We'll just be on the third Frankfurt server in Germany. So we'll select that. All right, we're connected now. So. Now we'll go back to Google Chrome here. We got that what's my IP address. We'll refresh the page. And now you can see that I'm located in Germany now and my IP address changed. So that's how you change locations in ExpressVPN. So let's say you want to disconnect from ExpressVPN. Um, you have two options on how you can disconnect. You can go up to the little lock icon up in the corner and tap on that and click the disconnect button. I'm obviously having a very difficult time pressing that because it, it responds differently on my computer. Um, so once you press that disconnect button, you should see this disappear. Uh, otherwise, you can go to the to your back to your home, go to ExpressVPN, tap that green button, and that'll disconnect it. And so then if you go back to Google Chrome now and refresh your IP address here, the What's My IP Address page, it will show your home IP address, which... I'm not going to show because I don't want you guys to see what my home IP address is for security purposes. And then if you want to go and turn it back on, you go back into the ExpressVPN app, select your location, and click the connect button. All right, so that's how you can use ExpressVPN on your Android device absolutely free for seven days without putting any money down. But let's say that you decide that you like ExpressVPN and you want to continue using ExpressVPN. Um, you can go up here in that free trial area and click the Upgrade Now button. And that will take you to ExpressVPN's website in Chrome or whatever your default browser is. And then you have to select the plan that works best for you. Um, they have a one-month option, a 12-month option, and a six-month option. I personally, myself, use the 12-month option because I use it year-round. I highly suggest that you guys stick with the one-month option because you guys are new to it and you want to make sure that ExpressVPN is what you want to use. So go ahead and select that one-month option, um, and then you'll scroll down and enter your email address, and then type in your credit card information, and then you'll go through the normal account setup process. Unfortunately, I can't show you any more on that specific part because I already have ExpressVPN and I don't want to pay for ExpressVPN again. But it's pretty basic. It's pretty normal account setup process. If you've ever set up an account for any website, um, you'll be able to get that. You should be able to get this. Um, if you have any questions, though, leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to help you out. All right, so once you get your account set up with ExpressVPN then, or if you already have an account set up with ExpressVPN, you're going to go back to the ExpressVPN app, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to click the Sign In button. And then you're going to sign in with your ExpressVPN credentials, and then you're going to smash that Sign In button. And then it's going to ask again whether you want to help improve ExpressVPN. I'm going to click no thanks. 
And then you're back to the options that you had before where you can select the location and then tap to connect. All right, so I hope you guys found that video useful. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the description. I love to help you guys out and answer those questions or comments that you guys have. And also, make sure if you found this video useful that you're smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe button, and hitting that notification bell if you haven't already. All of these actions help promote this video up on YouTube and help promote this channel up on YouTube so more people can see this content and help protect themselves from the cybersecurity threats out in the world so more people can be safe and have a worry-free life about the cyber incidents are out there so i thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day